Valkos has a lot of poke damage, so we can soften them up even more by spamming E. And uh, we want to keep play, uh, play at a distance, keep them at bay anyway. So going for a more aggressive start with Longsword and a more aggressive early item, it's not really necessary. We still get a lot of pressure with Tier and Emax, well, Emax anyway, but uh, E level 1 with Velkos. And we want to avoid the all in. So, yeah, perfect ma uh, lane matchup for the hyperscaling Manamune build once more. Hit the lane right away because fake leashing is stupid. Always a mistake in my opinion. You should take your lane priority while you can. Um, got it. Alright, so... Yeah, we start poking right away. And hopefully get level 2 advantage. But yeah, hello for the misfortunate. It's over on YouTube as well. Live streaming on Twitch. Link in the description. So join whenever you can. If you like. If you enjoy League of Legends live streams, that is. Of course. Uh... And their lane is not too synergistic. Lulu Jin, quite bad synergy wise, if you ask me. And we do hit level 2 right here. Wow, oh, Jin. You took a really bad trade. Okay, so. Now that we've got a slight advantage in lane, we don't want the jungler to ruin that, so we ward to see them coming in time. Hmm. No reason to take damage there. Oh, Lulu got me. Ah, almost. Focus on the cannon. Don't want to randomly lose that. Nice. Yeah, doing good so far. Jin is out of potions. I mean, starting refillable is a huge blunder. Yeah, they are basing. Nice. They already need to base, yeah, yeah. So we keep them in lane by pushing the wave. We see the jungler and everything, so... Nothing to worry about. We keep them as low as possible. Just auto the wave. Okay, I mean, if he wants to spend mana, then that's fine too. He didn't need to though, just autoing is also doing a lot. Hmm. Okay, that was a big misplay. I thought Shaka was coming and then I Stop looking at him. Okay, I just goofed. Big time. <sighs> yeah, I, I need to play better. Mistakes like these must not happen. If I want to reach master promos. Ah, oh, it's super bad. Good gank, but I didn't react to it. Yeah, good, good Rek'Sai gank, and I didn't react to it properly. I was too greedy when I saw Shaco in the vicinity. Okay, we're slow pushing here. Hopefully without losing CS. This wave, I think we just crash. All right. Okay, so this mistake isn't really a game changer. It's more annoying than anything. 
That's obviously a slight disadvantage we didn't uh, we didn't need to be at. But yeah, the lane doesn't change. We still gun them down with poke damage. Wait for E. Huge damage. Yeah, Jin has fleet. He has refillable. He has vamp scepter. But our poke damage is still relevant. So vamp scepter not doing too much when he doesn't have a lot of AD. Rex is here again. I'm dead. Okay. Okay, I'm not dead, but Valkos is. Yeah, yeah, we're getting we're getting camped a little bit. We need to play accordingly. Okay, if they base here, then I at least can farm in peace. With Q, I always get this minion. Says he and doesn't get the minion. Okay, they're basing, so I'm basing. I'm still 20 CS up, which is huge. But obviously, um, these kills and assists matter. Belkaz, what are you doing? Could you just crash the wave, please? Okay. Be careful. Oof. Oh, Rex is here again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naturally. My support goes down. Yeah. Same mistake over and over. I should have back pinged him earlier. Yeah, they're playing this well. They're camping the winning lane. She might go over and then I'm dead. Watch well, me miss this minion again. Okay. Got them this time around. Mm, yeah, we need to play way more defensively. Rexa is probably basing, but she might still be camping here, so... We gotta respect that. As, at least I have flash. Which means it's unlikely I die. Rexai mid lane. Huh. Nice. She even flashed and still died. That's so good for us. Well played by Velkos. Just protect the wave. Lulu is there and I'm dead, I'm afraid. Or do I get away? Okay, I'm getting away, but Velkos died again. Yeah, we were too greedy. Trying to dive. Velkos tried to dive when Lulu was already there again. It's not ending well, of course. I'm basing in this bush. I'm not risking a dive from Kindred. Or what's... who is it? Yeah, Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai, I mean. But who is it? <laughs> Shoutouts to all the peekaboo thumbnails on YouTube right now. 
my new main. WTF? Right, broke this champ last patch, but who is it? <laughs> oh well. If people click on it, then who am I to blame them for making these thumbnails? Yeah, now we have the big Manamine power spike. More than 70 attack damage on this item. And attack damage is a crazy good stat on Misfortune. As you probably know. I have ulti. I just got destroyed, oh my lord. Still worth, I guess. Yeah, Shackle lives, then definitely worth. Nice, and now I got lifesteal, which makes these plays way safer. As soon as I hit that shield, though, um, we should be completely fine, even against Rek'Sai. And I can scale up in terms of damage. Whew. Tough game, tough game. The Chaco looking good now, Akali looking good. I'm still looking good, 10 CS on Jin, and my character looks way better anyway. I mean, look at this. Um, but we also outscale Jin massively, of course. He falls off. He is not a good late game champion. Oh my. Okay. Almost killed Lulu with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I realize. It's Rek'Sai time. How does that land? The camp is real. But I didn't die to it this time around. Makes me happy. Still 1v3, 2v3. Okay. Yeah, they try to take Drake here. And they will take it. We can't do anything. We traded for heralds, essentially. Um, Rexai, no, what's your name? Belkos, could you please? Crazy. They paid a steep price for that second Drake. This dive is again risky. If we get a knock up, he's dead. If not, we need to abort mission. Okay, we got the knock up. Well played, Velkos. I'd say we don't wander off, we just base instead. Okay. Oof, so far so good. Mistakes have been made, but we're still in good shape. For sure. And Kale, I mean, she will be relevant eventually. She'll scale. Our late game is so much better than this. Hmm. 
Bot lane's getting pushed in. Akali is covering. All right, so we stay mid. That's fine. Mana Mune is about to be transformed in the next couple of minutes. Don't have ult right now. You can poke me if you want to, I have lifesteal. Kale trading one for one is actually very good for us. There's no one there. Good, Herald. Okay, probably better to set it later so it doesn't take damage, but still good. Yeah, okay, I couldn't afford to take another tower shot. I need to cancel early. I still wanted to follow up here. Unstoppable. I take blue buff so I can buy my item, I think. It's a huge pickup. Okay, but yeah, mid lane tower advantage right now should give us a lot of control in the jungle. This is where we really start to kick into gear. We have Mythic plus Mirror Mana transformed. 230 attack damage at 18 minutes. Jin, who converts everything into attack damage, probably has less. Okay, 238. So we're on Jin levels with attack damage, and we don't have an attack damage conversion passive. We still have regular crit and attack speed. We push this past river, and then roam. Ulti in three seconds. Barely. You're still going down, my friends. <laughs> no Lulu ult in the world will save you from that. Nice, that was a very good engage. Urgot did not see it coming. What's also very nice about this build, your ult is so obscenely strong with that much attack damage, plus the on spell effect here. So they're respawning, my team just recalled. I can also recall for a double longsword. It's definitely good. But yeah, this is. Abilities deal, yeah. E plus R deals an additional 130 damage just because I used two abilities proccing this twice. And once we hit Lord Dominic's regards, damage is through the roof. Yeah, as you see, we prioritize damage. Oh, I should have. Yeah, I do have upgraded trinkets. Okay. Nice shot. Doesn't matter though. Huh, we're not one shotting caster minions yet. Hmm. 
Okay, Gale Force is a long cooldown. Yeah, Rexa trying to assassinate me didn't even come close to triggering my shield though. There's three people down, we can take Baron. No questions asked. Yeah, what are they gonna do? It's just Urgot looking at us and Jin being in mid lane. Okay. Reset for Last Whisper. We keep doing our thing. We have a substantial lead at this point. Ideally, we take this tower and this tower, because they're the easiest to take. Lowest risk, highest reward. Yeah, we're fine. They're just getting slaughtered. Yeah, Akali is tearing them apart. Yeah, at this point, I mean, we're so far ahead. Don't need to ult here, do I? No. Yeah, I trapped him. He couldn't walk farther away because Elsie would just walk into my ult, dying on the spots. Yeah, he disrespected my damage, walking forward. We can take more. Only now do they respawn, and they still need to respond to Kale as well. Okay. Now we just disengage. We finish Lord Doms, even more damage, as if we are not completely wrecking them already. But yeah, incredible power spike. This is like the optimal uh, itemization for mid and late game damage, this item path. We're now scaling harder than any other Misfortune build, than most other champions in the game pretty much. Infinity Edge is another big one, of course. But again, if you are still new to the champion, if you still want to have more room for error, you can also go Bloodthirst, a third item, and delay Infinity Edge. It's certainly possible. But in the current meta, I like this more damage-oriented approach more. Shackle Solo's Dragon. Let's just get the minions. Oh, we don't have Baron buffs. Okay, GG. Yeah, quite a convincing victory. Minor slip-ups in the early game, but still good enough. Yeah, okay, Valkaz and Akali did so much damage. The game didn't really go long enough for um, proper team fights to happen. I mean, they kind of fell apart because of Shackle's jungle pressure. So, um, yeah, I mean, good comeback. Tilt proof Velkos carrying his weight. And this build. Again, you can have more var variety with this, but I'm spamming this because I'm ke I keep getting supports who want to see this build from Misfortune. Uh, if you get an all in support, for example, you don't want to start tier, you want to start longsword and go for slightly different items. But uh, yeah, if you want to see different Misfortune builds, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.